Good day and welcome on this 16th of August 2020 as we join together in worship today as we look into God's word may your heart be open to the things of God today. Last week we looked from my mother's garden and we saw the fruitfulness of the Bramley tree there and we read the words of Jesus in Matthew 7 that said by their fruit you shall know them that actually it's the very fruit that we bear in our lives that reveals the character of the heart that is bearing that fruit we see Jesus picking up this theme of fruit again in John chapter 15 and you can imagine in your mind's eye Jesus going through a vineyard and he says this to his disciples I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes away and every branch in me that bears fruit he prunes that it would bear more fruit so it is clear from the scripture that God's purpose is to bear fruit. Jesus takes that a step further and says that we need to be attached to the vine to bear that fruit. He even goes further and says, I am the true vine. In other words, if we are to bear the fruit that God wants for us, we have to be a branch that is attached to the vine. And if we are a branch that is attached to the vine, that vine has to be Christ himself. So if we want to bear fruit that honours God, that is the fruit that God is looking for, that we will be judged upon, then we as a branch need to be attached to the true vine who is Jesus. Wow! Jesus pins it down. He even goes further than that. He says this in verse 4, Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine neither can you unless you abide in me wow you know many people believe that Jesus never said he is the only way some people believe that he was maybe a good man or a, a prophet, but not God himself. Others believe that he was either a madman or a fool. Some even go as far as to say he may never have existed. But what we have in front of us is a, a true record of Jesus' words. And Jesus says this, that you cannot, I cannot, bear fruit that is pleasing to God unless I abide in him, unless I dwell in him, unless me as a branch is attached to Jesus Christ, the true vine that's heavy stuff because that means that whatever i did in my life that wasn't attached to christ is fruit that is not worth bearing is fruit that is going to pass away in these days it would be put in a, a green sack in a brown bin and, and left out each week it means that the fruit that i bore before I was attached to Christ will perish 
You know, I've noticed recently, I don't know about you, but when I've gone and I've bought fruit in, in the store, it's been picked too early and it never really ripens and it goes moldy before it's edible. Now, I remember when, when I was growing up, if you went and got plums in, in, in the shop, they were already soft, they were sweet, they, the wasps <laughs> were, were hungering for them, and, and they were ready to eat, and they were beautiful. Now they're hard, they're tasteless, they taste like water, and they're not yet ripe. Well, that fruit perishes before it becomes anything. I want to make sure that I am attached to the true vine, that as a branch, the fruit that I bear draws its energy, its source, its nutriments, it, it, its character from the vine that is Christ, so that the fruit that I bear will not perish but I'll be able to reveal who God is making me inside by the very fruit that I bear. Well, friend, as we consider these things, you may be asking, well, what kind of fruit would be apparent? What, how would it manifest itself in our lives? And how can I do that in my own strength? Well, the good news is that we do not need to do it in our own strength, and it's not even our own fruit. The Lord Jesus promised that when he went away, he would send the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit, Jesus said, would take of that which is his and give it to us. He would take the characteristics of Christ, the fruit of that vine, and bring it forth from our lives. And next week, we will be looking at Galatians 5, verses 22 and 23. And we will begin these next weeks by looking at what is now called the fruit of the Spirit the very fruit that Jesus desires us to bear. He said this, You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you might go and bear much fruit and that that fruit would remain. Well, I'm going to ask you now to come up and just lead us in prayer. Good morning. Shall we pray? Father God, we want to thank you for your goodness and your faithfulness to us day by day. Thank you, Lord, that you have brought us through another week. That, Lord, we have seen you carry us through lord situations that have been challenging situations lord that uh, uh, we have found difficult but you you lord have brought us through that and lord we want to give you praise and glory and honor for all that you have done in and through our lives Thank you that you are working in our lives by your Spirit. And Lord, we thank you for transforming us each day. Lord, we desire to be more and more like Jesus. We desire to have your love in our lives, your joy, your peace, your faithfulness, your goodness, your mercy and your love flowing through us in every avenue of our lives. Lord, we desire to see you doing that work, that work that is internal and that's expressed externally. 
We thank you that we can be joined to the vine and from whom we can draw all that is needed for our lives to live day by day in you. We pray, Father, for this coming week. We want to commit that into your hands. We want to ask, Father, for your wisdom, for your direction in all that we need to do. We ask, Lord, that you would just guide us by your Holy Spirit, by your leading, Lord, in our lives. We pray, Father, for those who are suffering, Lord, in our country and throughout the world, those, Lord, who are still ill in hospitals, those who are ill, Lord, with a virus, wherever they are, in homes, in, uh, Lord, uh, in places where uh, they are struggling on their own. Father, we ask that you would be with them, that you would come alongside. Lord, that uh, they would reach out to you. They would call upon your name and know your presence with them. We just want to commit, Lord, each one into your, your hands. Father God, we just want to pray for our government that you would give them your wisdom in all the decisions they make, Lord, for the future of this country. We commit ourselves now into your hands. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Bew. Well, let's join together in the song that is listed above this on Facebook or below it on YouTube. Just press the link and we will join together in song. The Lord bless you. Have a wonderful week.